What's going on car family? I'm Ben Wayne. Thank you for joining me in another video. Today I've returned to my stopping grounds at Bentley Atlanta. We're here to check out a special car. This is the 2023 Bentley Continental Flying Spur V8S. And if you've been with this channel for a while, you know we've done in-depth reviews on the Flying Spur as well as test drives. So if you want a little bit more detail and a test drive, be sure to check those videos out. I'll leave the link to those videos in the description. But today we're checking out this special VAS, which has been finished in a beautiful cambium gray and features a gorgeous porpoise interior. I love the duo tone hides on the interior. We'll get to that. But today let's check out the exterior and the interior details of this V8S and see how this ride has been engineered for excellence. Starting the review out with the front of this vehicle. The first thing you'll notice is a lot of the standard chrome trim has been removed. Instead, what you're getting is what's known as the black line specification. So all the pieces that are traditionally chrome, such as the vertical vane grille or the headlights surrounds, or even this trim on the hood and the front ornament all been done in a gloss black, which is gonna provide a darker edge to the vehicle's overall aesthetic. I really like the lines here, and I think the black just really makes this look more like a sports sedan when compared to the traditional model. Now, underneath the hood, what's powering this thing? What we're getting is a four liter twin turbocharged V8. That's giving you 542 horsepower, 568 pound-feet of torque. That's connected to a dual clutch, eight speed transmission, zero to 60 in just 4.1 seconds. And this vehicle has a top speed of 198 miles per hour. So it's not lacking in terms of power whatsoever. This is an incredible vehicle from the front. Let's go ahead and check out that side profile. Checking out the side profile of the Flying Spur, which is easily my favorite angle of this vehicle. The first thing that will jump out at you are these sharp lines throughout this car's aluminum bodywork, which is incorporated via an engineering technique called superforming, which is gonna remove any seams or welds from the car's bodywork. Now also, another thing you'll notice is the black line specification is carried throughout the side profile. We do have blacked out badges, gloss black side view mirrors, along with the window surrounds. And of course you're getting the 22 inch 10 spoke gloss black wheels exclusive to the VAS model. Now in terms of handling and driving dynamics, you still are getting that 48 volt active roll control. That's gonna keep this car stable and flat during spirited driving. You also have four wheel steering. At low speeds, the rear wheels will turn in the opposing direction as the front wheels, giving you sharper handling in parking lot situations. And at high speeds, they're gonna turn in the same phase as the front wheels, increasing your overall stability. Now in terms of power delivery, of course you're getting that standard all-wheel drive that the Flying Spur is known for, so traction is not a concern whatsoever. Now, part of what makes the handling different on the VAS model compared to the standard model is that your engine, transmission, and suspension mappings have all been altered for a sportier vibe. Now, let's go ahead and check out the rear. When you take a look at the rear of the vehicle, one thing I really appreciate towards the back end of this car is the way the roof line tapers into the trunk lid. It really gives me those old school Bentley and Rolls Royce vibes. So I love the tradition that's been kept in the car's design. Now coming towards the rear, you notice we do have an intricate design for your rear tail lamps. They have the crystal cut effect that we saw in the front LED matrix headlamps, and they also have B incorporated into the design. I think that's just fantastic. Everybody's gonna know what type of car this is from the back and the front as well. Now you'll also notice that your tail lamps have been pushed outward thus just exaggerating the width of the vehicle, gives it a nice planted stance from the rear. Coming lower, we do have gloss black accents from that black line specification, and you'll notice we have figure eights or dual exhausts on either side, representing that V8 up front underneath the hood that's been finished in gloss black. And for the V8S model, that exhaust is gonna provide you a nice deep throaty sound to it when compared to the traditional W12. The interior of this Flying Spur V8S model provides you with all the sensations a $300,000 car should. I'm loving the duo tone split with the Beluga 
and then the porpoise hides really provides a nice contrast starting at the top of the dash you have that smooth to the touch leather some of the smoothest leather i've felt in the industry recently with stitching going all the way across we do have gloss black accents or your piano black with your ambient lighting throughout the cabin now of course we do have this beautiful bentley rotating display that features three dials here we have a temperature gauge a compass and a chronometer we also have a full touchscreen display with all your features. Now we've done a full review on this rotating display. I'll drop the link to that in the video's description so you can get all the information there, but it provides you with everything you need. And then when you don't want the technology in your face, you have these three traditional gauges. I love that look about this car. It won't age or date this car 10 years from now. Coming lower, we do have some hot keys as well. And then a flying wing integrated into the design of your air conditioner system with a Bentley clock sitting proudly in the middle there. We have the wireless charging and of course your electronic gear selector with touch controls for your air conditioning and your seats that feature massaging, three levels of cooling, three levels of heating for a $300,000 car. I really don't have to say this, but someone will ask. Coming further back, we do have controls for your different driving modes, your sport, Bentley, comfort, and custom mode. In this car, I would strongly suggest always using the sport mode. That's what this car is built for. Coming further back, we do have two cup holders and of course, a leather covered armrest with stitching throughout as well. Now the seats are exceptionally comfortable. They feature a duo tone theme with the beluga and porpoise. And of course you have that lofted embroidered diamond stitching in the seats as well. That level of attention to detail is unmatched. There's nobody else doing seats with this much embroidery as Bentley is. Coming over to the steering wheel, I had that dual tone theme here as well. So again, that beluga and porpoise hide theme carrying on into the steering wheel that takes eight hours to craft by hand with all this stitching. I really love that attention to detail. The Bentley badge sits proudly in the middle of the steering wheel as it should. Now we also have some knurled controls here that match the knurled pattern behind the metal paddles behind the steering wheel. These metal paddles are thick and are cold to the touch. It gives you a sense of high quality and craftsmanship, which this car should provide. Coming further back, even on your stocks coming from the steering wheel, we have that knurled pattern that we covered in several other videos. Knurling is some of my favorite features that are found on Bentley vehicles. Now, of course, we have a thin film transistor display that gives you all the information you want. It's fully configurable. You can put your navigation there if you want as well. Tons of technology has been packed into this vehicle. There was a time about 10 years ago where Bentley was about craftsmanship, but you didn't get too much technology. Nowadays, you're getting the best of both worlds, literally, and you still get that craftsmanship. That's their primary purpose. That's why you have this rotating display. So that way the tech is still there. But again, that traditional gauge cluster setup is still known in their vehicles. We have the bullseye metal air conditioning vents that can be found in Bentley and Rolls Royce vehicles throughout the past several decades. So again, they paid a lot of attention to their tradition and heritage. Coming over to the door panels, the door design matches seamlessly with the dash. So it just flows nicely. It's almost as if it was one piece. We have that piano black veneer here as well, along with the ambient lighting and the diamond pattern incorporated into the doors as well. The door handles themselves, ice cold to the touch. They're made of that metal with the knurled tactile feedback that it's giving you when you put your fingers in the door handle. So even one of those last things that you touch, the door handle, when you exit the vehicle, is giving you that tactile feedback that's saying, hey, this is quality, this is high end. I love that about these vehicles. They have controls for all four windows, and of course, storage on the bottom of the door, and two position memory seating as well. Now, one thing about this vehicle I noticed is that this is a darker interior. Even though we're not outside, as soon as you take this vehicle out, it's gonna be flooded with natural light due to this massive panoramic roof. There's a huge pane over the front seats and then another pane over the rear seats. So it's gonna be flooded with tons of natural light. Speaking of the rear, let's go ahead and check that out. The back of the Flying Spur is an amazing place to be. But if you're a car guy like me, you're gonna to wanna to be behind that front wheel. But this 
true comfort back here, true luxury. You're getting all the same quality that you saw up front in the back as well. We have tons of leg room here. Look at the details on the seats with the porpoise and beluga hides. Again, with the lofted diamond embroidered into the seat and the Bentley badge embroidered as well. We have pillows on the headrest. We also have a nice center console. This is referred to as a four plus one seating configuration. So we have two cup holders here. Of course, some storage here. And of course, this goes up if you would like it to. The center console features an air conditioning vent that carries the same level of detail as the one you saw up front with the flying wing design. I love that about this car. You also have your organ pulls to open and close the vents here as well. You'll notice we do have a touchpad in the center that allows you to control all the features of the vehicle. As a matter of fact, it is a remote that can be ejected from the center console and it allows you to control the panoramic roof, your climate controls, your seats, your radio, everything in this car. We've done a separate video on this as well. I'll drop the link to that in the video description. So everything you need is back here. We have tons of leg space. Again, the seats have all the features that were carried out up front, all transition to the back as well. The door panels covered in that dual tone leather theme with again, that ambient lighting and the diamonds incorporated into the door panels as well. Look at the design of the seat controls. This truly looks amazing to me on the doors. Of course, you have two position memory and of course storage on the bottom of the door as well. But again, this is a great place to just stretch out and just be driven somewhere. But again, if you're like me, you're gonna to wanna to be behind that steering wheel. So that was a brief overview of this 2023 Bentley Continental Flying Spur VAS model. Let me know what you guys think about the darker edge that this model provides. Special thanks to Bentley Atlanta for making this video possible. And special thanks to Greg Mabry for having me over to review this incredible vehicle. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments section. And until next time, I'm Ben Wayne, the automotive reviewer that YouTube deserves. I'll catch you guys in the next one.